That's never worked. We can make cars work. We can say by 2012, every bus we have in Montgomery County in the state of Maryland is going to be running on some form of alternative energy. What we have to do is we have to set goals and we have to live by them. And if a person breaks them, they wind up getting fined. Meaning if I throw cans and I throw soda bottles in my trash can, the, the trash people should be able to walk in and find me $50 of the first offense, $100 for the second offense, and you'll find out I won't keep doing it. So basically what we have to do is we have to say, we have to set goals. We have to say by 2012, we're going to recycle 45%. We have to say by 2015, every single bus, every single public form of transportation we have is going to use alternative energy. If we do that, we'll wind up helping the environment without impacting our own way of living. Now, in the state of Maryland, we have schools in the top 10 in the nation when it comes to our education, but we also have schools in the bottom 10 in the nation as well. What do we need to do to improve this? I'm really happy you asked me that. In Montgomery County, every single candidate running for office, the very first thing you see in the brochure is we're in favor of education. They brag about the fact we're number one in the country in education. You know what? I don't care if we're number one. I don't care if we're number 10. I don't care if we're number 100. What I care about is making sure every single student in our county gets the same quality education. And you know what? They don't. I can, I sent my, my children to school in Potomac, and I know what type of schooling they got. We have places in Tacoma Park. We have places in Silver Spring where they're not getting that same education. So basically, I don't really, I'm not concerned about being number one. I'm not going to kowtow to MCEA and say I'm going to make sure you know we spend all the money we can on education. What I am going to say is we should spend an equal amount of money in every area of our county and our state. And the main aim isn't to be number one in you know, Montgomery County, be number two someplace else. Our main goal is to make sure all the money we have, we allocate fairly and adequately. And in a way, too, if we pay more taxes in one area, that area should get more money also. But my only concern isn't that we're number one or we're number 10. It's that every single student in this county and in, 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 in this state gets the same quality, quality education the other student gets. And that's basically, in Annapolis, that's where I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote to make sure the money is just distributed fairly and equally. Mr. Puka, in closing, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, uh, uh, this entire campaign has been based on the fact I've been saying I've done more than 35 years out of office than the other candidates and the other elected officials have done in office. Is, is three or four very quick points I would like to make. In 1995, Montgomery County did away with uh, middle school sports. We didn't have the money in the budget. I, I was on the recreation board. What I did was I took an entire league in the rec board, and I, I made that so, solely for the use of, of, of like middle school sports. So these kids got to play with the name of the school on their, their, their uniform. Uh, in 1996, we have a uh, place in uh, Potomac called Scotland. It's a 8A development, and it's been around for 110 years. For five years, we, we weren't able to uh, give enough money in the budget to keep the community center you know, equipped with the proper equipment. When I was told that, I went out, and within two months, I raised all the money necessary to buy the equipment for that community center. I donated the money back to Montgomery County, and they bought the money for the center. Uh, it's little things like that you do that other people don't think about doing, but I've been doing it now for 35 years. There's a few quotes I would really like to read. Uh, a lot of times people talk about themselves. Well, let me give a few quotes from newspapers. The Carroll County Times in 1990 said, he's talking to senior citizens as well as people of low income. His ideas are for the little man. There are too many big dollars for the big candidates. The, uh, ha the, the uh, Hagestown Herald Mail in 1992 said, he's for the needs of the working man, not just the unions, but, but all the working men. Uh, Josh Williams, the president of the AFL-CIO in Washington, Maryland, said, Mr. Puker is a candidate who offers the people a real difference and honest choice. I can continue reading these for a long time, but the bottom line is 
a lot of people run for office because there's an ego involved and they want to do something and, you know, get certain things done to certain groups. For 35 years I've been working for the groups who can't, who don't have a champion, don't have someone getting things done. And for once in my life I would like to do it in office instead of having to use my cloud and everything, I've, all the goodwill I've built up where I have to go to other delegates, other senators, governor and other people and ask them to help. So if I'm elected right now, my entire next four, eight years of my life is going to be spent helping the people who need help the most because I've been doing it my entire life. Thank you. Well, Mr. Puka, it's been a pleasure. Thanks an awful lot. We appreciate it. Now, Thank for more information me. about Mr. Tony Puka, please visit his website at TonyPukaForDelegate.com. And for even more information, visit our website on TheHillMedia.com.